Hey guys, Martin Nostad here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another unboxing. I've been across town earlier today to pick up an, uh, a package from the old Discogs ferry. So let's see what we got. And I'm back. So um, during the unboxing, uh, I got a bit confused and long-winded because um, <laughs> The way the way uh, the seller had packaged this this uh, threw me off, and for a second there, I thought I, would, I had been sent the wrong records. Um, I can give you an example. Here's one inner sleeve, uh, which is I assume from some German uh, record uh, collection or, or something. Well, this is advertisement. So Voltreffer 69, and. Um, because both records were put in a one plastic sleeve and with these weird covers on, on both sides I started almost ranting a little bit to myself there so uh, when I realized my mistake I yeah I decided to start over from here so the the first record is from um, an artist that I am uh, very fond of from the 1980s started out as Lloyd Cole and the Commotions uh, in the 80s with the uh, monolithic, well, essential 1980s pop rock album, Rattlesnakes. And I think they released three albums altogether. I say I think because uh, I have, um, I don't have Rattlesnakes on vinyl, I have it on CD and cassette. Um, but I have their second album, and I had I have a third album, but now I'm unsure if that was a proper third album or some sort of leftover. He left uh, Lloyd Cole left the band and started a solo career, and uh, my first Lloyd Cole solo uh, solo album was this one, which I um, think was his uh, debut solo album. Came out in 1990, and um, it is a really good album, and I've had it on CD since it came out, and. Uh, I always uh, kind of wanted to put uh, this uh, record uh, together with uh, my other vinyl records from Lloyd Cole and see if I can get a few more. Um, I don't know. He's still recording and I have I got three of his uh, solo albums. And it's it's uh, that melancholy pop music um, that uh, Scandinavians uh, used to like a lot and I assume some of us still do. Uh, great, great album. Uh, here's the proper inner sleeve and uh, of course the seller supply these uh, rather odd inner sleeves to protect the record which I appreciate but it threw me for a loop there for a second and here is the vinyl uh, kind of funny that on this side you have all the songs written uh, sort of handwritten with the Polydor logo there and on the other side um, there's not like an art work or anything um there's the um sort of the technical information i think that was a little bit strange a little bit different but you see the repeat of the 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 silver marker pen x there that's i, I like that that's cool and the other album is from a band that um, introduced me to paul weller and it's not the jam because when i was in my early teens I don't, or rather my preteens, uh, I fell for this band. Um, they were probably on MTV or uh, that uh, early channel we had. I think it was called Music Box or something. It was on Sky Channel. That brief time in the early 80s when we had Sky Channel in Scandinavia. Uh, or Satellite Television, as it was first called. Uh, so this is the Style Council. I have... Uh, I think I have more or less everything that they recorded on CD. I don't have uh, as a standalone record their final album, which will, the record company refused to release uh, because it was a departure from Style Council's music and more of a house type record. And but it is part of the uh, you know those uh, slim, uh, tall boxes, uh, CD boxes of the Style Council that I that I, that I own. Uh, but um, I don't have everything of them on vinyl. I'm missing three records, I think, or two now. This one, one other studio album, and uh, 
that uh, introduction to the Star Council or whatever it was called, uh, which is essentially an EP. But Café Bleu, wonderful album. I love their style. And I've been following Paul Weller's solo career. Uh, of course, I, I, was, I was not really aware of the jam until... Uh, probably around, I think around 1987, I, I, I became aware of it. And I was on a trip to London with my dad and we went to, to London in 88. Yeah. And we, I went to that fantastic, um, uh, HMV, uh, mega record store that was on uh, Oxford street. And I bought a compilation album. Which I think was called, I still have it uh, on vinyl, uh, called Snap. Yeah, I think. But that one and a compilation album of Elvis Costello. So I remember that good. Well, good. I remember it good. Jeez. Um, so here is the record. Good old Polydor there. And um, I looked at both the records and they look very fine. Paid really good price for these. So. And here, here's the other inner sleeve that threw me for a curb when I started my video. It's um, <laughs> music for UNICEF. And um, the weird thing is I, I own music for UNICEF. I have that vinyl record. It's uh, not one I, I think I dare play because it looks scratched as hell. But one of the reasons it's why it looks so bad is because it's inside the, the the outer sleeve without an inner sleeve, and if I'm right, I now own an inner sleeve for that. Yeah, from 1979, year of the child. Um, but here is the proper inner sleeve for the style council. So guys, that was. Uh, sort of an abbreviated or re-recorded uh, version of uh, my latest Discogs find. And um, I hope you liked uh, checking out those records with me. Please click like and subscribe. Please leave a comment if you have any... Yeah, if you... Are there anyone out there, any Americans, for example, who remember Lloyd Cole and talk, comment about him? And of course, the Stall Council. Uh, Paul Weller's solo career is amazing. I know you guys over there in America, many of you have no knowledge of it. You know, get, get some knowledge. Uh, Paul Weller is an amazing artist, the mod father. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon in another video.